guys, so I just dropped off some packages at the post office, so I decided to uh, do another cha-ching video. I think this is number three uh, for my cha-ching video, so I hope you guys have been enjoying them. So basically, I'm just going to go down through a list of some things that have sold recently on eBay, just kind of give you an idea of what I paid for them, what they've sold for, and that kind of thing. Just like a mixture of things is what I like to do. It's not absolutely everything that I sold, but just like I said, a mixture of things to kind of give you guys an idea of what is selling for me. So maybe it's something that, you know, when you're out and about thrifting or yard selling or anything else like that, so you maybe keep an eye on um, to buy to possibly resell. So the let's just get started the first thing um that i have is that opium jar that i purchased at the it was a fire hall yard sale and i paid one dollar for this jar and i actually like i picked it up i kind of laughed about it i thought it was really pretty but i didn't really think anything of it i thought it was just kind of like um i don't know something you'd put in your bathroom i don't know why i was thinking that uh just to like put like q-tips or something in i don't know but i got like a giggle out of it just because it said opium on it like what is this kind of thing um and then later on while we were like going around the yard sale and stuff like that like this was before we were leaving i was told eric i was like i i want to go see if that jar is still there like i don't know i have this feeling like i i need i need to buy it it was only a dollar i'm like if it's really not worth anything you know i'm spending a buck so i went back and it was still there so i purchased it for a dollar and i sold it for 79 dollars and 99 cents so that was a pretty awesome uh cha-ching there i just thought it was really cool too and I don't really know what the person is going to to use it for. I mean, maybe, you know, their medical marijuana or something. I don't know. Or just like a decorative piece, whatever. But I just, they maybe they just got like a kick out of it like I did. So that was, that was a pretty fun find. I don't think I've ever found something like that before. So the next thing were, okay, so you guys know we've been going to the auction lately. Well, Eric has been because I've been working. But first time we went there, I kind of was like, I don't really know if this is going to be a great place to do sourcing just because it is very time consuming, very fun, but super time consuming. So our first time there, we bought a bunch of dishes. It seems like dishes, glassware doesn't sell like super well there for some reason. I guess people just don't want to you know, be bothered with it or bothered packing it up because you got to like pack everything up yourself kind of thing. But we got a bunch of these dishes. Um, they were by Anfora. And we ended up paying, uh, I, I think it was $3 for the entire set that they had. So $3. And we still have some of these dishes listed. Um, this was just kind of like the one set we put them in lots. So we listed a set of six of these and four plates, paid $3 for all of them. Uh, but like I said, there is actually more. So I could potentially be making even more money off of these dishes. So the set of six sold for $99.99. So definitely a print to look out for a brand. Pebble Blue, I believe is what they were called. Um, so yeah, that was just crazy. Like that kind of made for the entire day that we spent there. I mean, it was fun regardless, but that's just kind of ridiculous that we got all those dishes for three bucks and made a hundred dollars off just six of the plates. Like that's, that's crazy. All right. So next we got a pair of jeans. That's why I like to pepper in like other things too, just all sorts of random things. So these were men's diesel jeans. Diesel jeans, um, men's diesel jeans sell really well for me. I, I rarely find them, but when I do find them, they always sell. So these diesel jeans I got a, at a rummage sale. Um, 
I think I ended up filling two bags. So like my total bill at the rummage sale was like $13. I already sold five of the things from that rummage sale. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say like, maybe these jeans were like $5 at the most kind of thing. So I ended up selling these diesel jeans for $49.99. So definitely keep an eye out on men's diesel jeans. Uh, next thing I also got at a rummage sale and I can't remember if this was like the same day or not. I think it was a different day wasn't even the same rummage sale uh now that I think about it this one was at the fill -a bag rummage sale and this was a vintage gunny sacks dress and these dresses have a huge cult following if you saw my video where um, I actually purchased this at the rummage sale I kind of talked about it a little bit um there are people who collect the dresses people who like using them for like photography as like you know dress options for um you know clientele to wear for like photo shoots and stuff like that just because they're all very like vintage prairie farm kind of looking very beautiful dresses so at this rummage sale it was fill a bag i don't know i probably paid like three dollars to fill my bag so let's just say the dress cost the dress let's just say the dress cost me one dollar i i sold the dress for 85 dollars and 99 cents crazy right i feel like i could have maybe even got more but the size tag in it was completely worn down so i had to go by measurements and i was like oh gosh because you know how people can be um not being able to try things on as far as like clothing goes selling on ebay and to base it off measurements alone, I mean, not everyone really knows their measurements per se when it comes to, to clothes. So I was like very kind of scared a little bit to sell it since I didn't have like an exact size tag. But um, I think the person was happy with it because I never, you know, heard anything back about them wanting to return it uh, because it didn't fit or something like that. Like I said, if it's someone that's going to be using it for... Um, you know, a piece for, you know, someone to wear for a photo shoot or something. It doesn't necessarily um, matter. Uh, next thing I sold was a pair of shoes. I love to sell shoes. These were a pair of Donald J. Pilner sneakers. Um, these I purchased at Salvation Army on half off day. So they were $4.99 that day. And I sold them for $45.99. So that was a really great um, cha-ching there because I rarely find Donald J. Pilner. I don't know if like all of that kind of brand sells or not. Um, I think that might have been the very first thing by that brand I think I've ever found. Um, so I definitely would consider picking the, uh, that brand up again if I ever see it okay the next thing was from a lot of stuff I purchased from someone off of Facebook marketplace Facebook marketplace is actually a pretty decent place to to source from just because not everyone knows what they have kind of thing but at the same time it's kind of a pain um because you know, getting a hold of someone and then having to meet them and all of this kind of thing. And I will say when I purchased this lot, it was a lot of beauty related items. Um, and it was, it was a man who was selling it. And I was kind of sketched from the beginning a little bit. Um, but I had planned to meet up and this guy wanted me to come to his father's house. At this certain time, it was late at night. I'm like, Eric, you need to come with me because I am not going here by myself. So Eric took me. It was like, I don't know, 8 o'clock at night, dark. He's like, go up the back steps, the second door to the left. Like it was like all of these specific kind of directions. Uh, but it ended up being fine. Like his dad answered. He knew I was coming for <laughs> this bag of beauty related stuff and gave him the cash and that was it. Like it wasn't anything weird. It just, it all kind of seemed weird as it was like 
playing out kind of thing. But regardless, this man was selling a bunch of beauty stuff. Uh, I paid $25 for the entire lot. I still have some of the items, um, but I already sold quite a few of the items that I got from him. Um, I guess he was selling it for his dad. His mom had passed away and they were her things. Um, so that really like was a punch to the gut because I understand how horrible that is. Um, but there was one item in there. This was a Dove face cream, face lotion. They don't make this anymore so when you can find stuff that is new obviously and is discontinued that you know you can't just like go to the store and buy it anymore and not everyone knows that this is discontinued and it's worth what it is and you know I'm telling you guys I'm letting you know uh, but this specific face cream has been discontinued and I know what it's like to have to go on eBay and spend lots of way more money than you want to for something because it's been discontinued i used to have to do that all the time for my mom her favorite hairspray was discontinued her favorite style of jeans from levi's her favorite pour cream and every time she ran out of something or needed something i was on ebay paying like top dollar for the stuff just so she could have it because it was her favorite so this uh dove face lotion let's just say it was five bucks. Like I said, I paid $25 for the lot, already sold some things. So we'll just say it was five bucks. <sighs> Deep breath, everyone. I sold this Dove face lotion for $99 and 99 cents. <sighs> so that right there was just, woo, buddy. That's, that's a good one. That is a good one. If you guys ever see this, <laughs> you better pick it up. Don't just think it's, it's, it's nothing because it's definitely something. I don't know if I'll ever find another one of those, but there you go. Uh, next thing was, I honestly don't even know what this thing was. It was by a company called FP Pelletier or something like that. It was made in Italy. It was like this little kiss lock case. I'd say it was about yay long. It was way longer than like a lipstick case, but I don't honestly know what it was intentional purpose to hold was or anything like that. I don't even remember where I bought it. I mean, I'm sure it was at a rummage sale or a yard sale, um, but it was made of leather. It was really nicely well made. I'm sure I paid maybe $2 at the most. I'd guess maybe $1.99. I just, I don't remember what I paid for it or where I got it. But I sold it for $35.99. So not too shabby. It was a really nice case. Uh, next thing was also something from that lot of beauty products. And it was another item that had been discontinued, which is this Clinique makeup. Um, they don't make this makeup anymore i don't know why but if you ever find it and it's new it's worth some money so this i averaged out maybe i paid two bucks for it i was just trying to like you know decipher my my lot of stuff down into like monetary value so i say i i spent two bucks on it i sold it for 89 dollars and 99 cents so crazy it is crazy what people are willing to pay for stuff that they can't buy anymore crazy all right i got four more things next one was a born purse this thing was absolutely gorgeous i got it at goodwill i don't remember what i paid for it i'd say maybe six seven dollars at the most it was brand new with the tags sold it for $59.99 so I just thought it was a really pretty purse so I, I bought it to sell uh, next thing is another pair of shoes these ones were by a company called company nine I got them at a thrift store I don't know if company nine is a good brand or if they just sold because they were 
unique and that's why I bought them. I bought them because they were nice quality um, and they were just really cool looking shoes in my opinion and that uniqueness does sell. People, not everyone wants name brand stuff and I was just drawn to these shoes. I thought they were so cool looking. So these were, I think, $6. I don't necessarily remember it horrible at remembering some of my prices of what I paid for stuff but I sold them for $59.99 so that was still really awesome cha-ching and I just I love being able to find cool things and then like have someone buy it like I buy it and I think like wow these are amazing and I just think it's so cool that I was able to buy something and have someone purchase it who is going to love it you know what I mean and get use out of it and that kind of thing it just that's one of the awesome things about reselling in my opinion so the next thing is something that I just got at the um, last estate sale we went to not like the creepy one that I didn't really get to to film at except for that creepy little <laughs> um, basement clip but um, the one before when it was snowing outside, um, I bought two Gobel miniatures. They were two dollhouse uh, style chairs. They were a dollar a piece, so two dollars. I sold them as a lot for $39.99. And sometimes I get nosy and I'll look at like who's buying my stuff. Like I'll look at like their feedbacks and see like what they're buying. And I was so happy to see that the person who bought them buys dollhouse stuff a lot. So those were definitely going into a dollhouse. And that made me so happy because I thought that they would look so, so amazing in a dollhouse. Like in the library or a study or something like that. So $2 to $39.99. Not too bad. And then the last thing was um, this bottle of Serious Skincare. Um, I got this at Goodwill for $1.99, and when I can find new stuff like that for so cheap, I just tend to buy it because I know it'll sell, and I really am not paying much for it at all. So I sold this for $26.99, so not, like, super amazing, but to only pay $2 for it, I mean, I just, I'll just pick this stuff up and and resell it because it's just so cheap so that is everything for this cha-ching video um definitely had some good sales this is like the end of january now and i definitely felt like it was pretty good january as far as reselling goes considering you know christmas was just last month and um you know people were feeling the burn from that but now and now that tax season is upon us i'm hoping for more sales and i am excited for yard sale season to start and i honestly need to get home <laughs> and get to listing more stuff because i have so much stuff that i need to list and finding time to do that when you have a full-time job <laughs> is really hard that's why like for me ebay has always been kind of like a part-time job just something I do for fun. It's not something that I rely on for a full-time income, that's for sure. I wish that I could, and I mean, maybe one day I'll get there, but right now it's just not really possible, and I'm like deathly afraid to just, you know, up and quit my job and, you know, try. Just, it scares me. Um, but I mean, I'm crossing my fingers that maybe one day, one day I can maybe like pull it off. But right now it's like, I need to find a bunch of that stuff, like 20 of the, the Clinique things a month or something, you know what I mean? Like that would be insane. But Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope these are fun for you to watch, informative. Maybe you you learned something from me. Um, 
I'm not like an expert at anything. I just, you know, there's some things I know and a lot of what I don't know, but I'm just trying to learn things as well and just have fun with everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if you resell what your best sale has been lately. Um, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.